What's really cool about the fin clip, whether it's the coho salmon or the chinook salmon or the steelhead or the rainbow trout over the last 30 years, is we get this dedicated group of Salmon Unlimited volunteers coming down every spring and sometimes even in the summer. They send anywhere from 30 to 35 people down. It takes a day, two days, it used to take a week. So they come down and they plop themselves down and they hunch over these troughs and they have their hands in this 54 degree water for 16 hours straight and they clip little tiny little fins off these fish and it's for one purpose and that's to make sure that the fish that we grow get stocked back into Lake Michigan and we can identify where they came from. So let's say Illinois is a left pet coho salmon in 2015. Each state has a distinct clip. In 2015, the coho from Illinois will have a left pectoral fin clip. So next year, the following year, somebody catches a fish that appears to be like two or three years old, they go, oh, okay, these fish were stocked in Waukegan, you know, Jackson and Calumet Harbors by the state of Illinois in 2015. And then, to, you know, that helps with, you know, survival, how many fish are surviving, growth rates. So it's from a management perspective, it's, it's, it's essential to know this kind of information. And quite honestly, this is something that we couldn't accomplish without their help. You know, they've got 35 people doing this, and without them, it, it would take us probably well over a week. It's a tremendous time savings for us. Again, we've been, doing, we've been meeting these people for 30 years. It's kind of like getting together in the fall with your family. You know, they're passionate about the fishery, they're passionate about fishing, and they want to help. And it's, it's wonderful. You don't see that a whole lot anymore.